U.S. adds 12 fighter jets to protect Afghanistan withdrawal. The U.S. military has added a dozen F-18 fighter jets to the military assets it is sending to protect troops as they withdraw from Afghanistan, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff General Mark Milley told reporters Thursday. The F-18s are on top of the previously announced six B-52 bombers sent to Qatar and the extension of the deployment of the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower in the region, as well as elements of an Army Ranger team sent to Afghanistan. U.S. officials are beefing up force protection measures amid Taliban threats to attack U.S. troops as they withdraw because the United States did not leave by a May 1 withdrawal deadline from a deal the insurgent group signed with the Trump administration last year. On Monday, the Pentagon said there had been some small harassing attacks over the weekend that had no effect on the withdrawal. U.S. forces Afghanistan also reported ineffective indirect fire at Kandahar airfield on Saturday, which U.S. forces responded to with an airstrike that destroyed. On Thursday, Milley said there have been no attacks against U.S. and coalition forces since the withdrawal began. In general, he said so-called enemy-initiated attacks in Afghanistan have kept about the same pace of about 80 to 120 per day since the withdrawal started as they have for the past year. Speaking alongside Milley, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin added that the drawdown is going according to plan. U.S. Central Command reported Monday that the withdrawal was about 2% to 6% complete, including moving about 60 planeloads of material out of Afghanistan identifying about 1,300 pieces of equipment to destroy and transferring one base in Helmand to Afghan Army control. General Mark Milley, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, said F-18 attack planes have been added to a previously announced package of air and sea power, including the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower aircraft carrier in the North Arabian Sea and six Air Force B-52 bombers based in Qatar, that can be called upon as protection for withdrawing troops. Also part of that previously announced package are several hundred army rangers. U.S. officials said before the withdrawal began that they expected the Taliban to attempt to interfere, even as the insurgents continued pressuring government forces, especially in Helmand and Kandahar provinces in southern Afghanistan. There continue to be sustained levels of violent attacks by the Taliban against Afghan security forces, Milley said speaking alongside Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin at a Pentagon news conference. He said there have been no attacks against U.S. or coalition forces since they began pulling out of the country on about May 1, and he described the Afghan forces as cohesive, even as speculation swirls around Kabul's ability to hold off the Taliban in the months ahead. Both Milley and Austin, a retired army general, are veterans of the war in Afghanistan. They're fighting for their own country now, so it's not a foregone conclusion, in my professional military estimate, that the Taliban automatically win and Kabul falls, or any of those kinds of dire predictions, Milley said. I didn't think...